There's a reason why people still consider that Akira is one of the best anime movies of all time. It is because it simply transpires and lives over the expectations even till this day is truly one of the masterpiece of anime movies. For a movie this old, you know, reaching its 40th almost year and still looks stunning and honestly is just visually a masterpiece, it got me thinking that truly anime don't die. Animation truly doesn't age. If you can think that Akira is truly one of the best anime movies even after re-watching it at this time and with this set of standards on anime movies, the art style and the animation is truly on par to the best animes that's airing right now. Now why am I talking about this? I'm here to talk about Mangala Box and you've probably seen in the thumbnail, or the title or what have you. And if you probably noticed that Mangala Box has a very interesting way to draw its anime with its rigged 80s type feel, you know? Very similar to how Akira is drawn. It's such a good throwback to just the time and age of that show. I wasn't born at that time, to be honest with you. I was probably like, semen wise, I wasn't probably been alive, you know? I was still a protein cell. That's how much young I was. Megalobox is truly something just classic. And I'm not saying that this is the greatest anime of all time. I'm not even saying that this is the best anime this season, but it is truly a refreshing watch. Look back on just what changed over the last 30, 40 years of anime and how anime, its style truly changes. I think it's perfect. I think about Dororo, that they made an adaptation or a remake two, three years ago, and they totally changed the outlook of Dororo. Dororo used to look like this childish cartoon, sort of looks like Astro Boy. Now, the latest remake sort of just looks like something MAPPA shit out of their pants. Not to, you know, offend MAPPA or offend the anime. The anime is great. I think it's a good show and it was a good story and looked great. But it wasn't special like how Mangala Box is. When I was watching Dororo, I was sort of just watching it for the sake of watching it. Nothing else to do in the weekend type of deal. When I watch Mangala Box right now, I feel like a refresh of just anime style that we haven't really seen that much or at least in this big of a change. If you want to compare something that's terribly bad art style wise and honestly groundbreaking and refreshing like Mangala Box, you can compare Hige Hero's art style and Mangala Box's art style. Hige Hero is made by project number 9. I made a video like in my last channel that Jaku Chara and project number 9 have a good art style for a hentai. It is very basic, it does what it does, it looks good. But if your anime production standard wise is it hentai, there's something wrong with you. you you've gotta either look to do something else or just do better, you know? While Mangala Box, of course, it comes out from a bigger studio, TMS Entertainment, just to list their animes, the Dr. Stones, the Rental Girlfriends, Real Life, if you know what that is, and Orange. But there's just something special about Mangala Box to me. And it's just truly is a throwback. It's, it's such a good throwback. The plot as well is such a simple, an easily digestible plot. It's very rare to even find that nowadays, to be honest with you. Everything's so complicated. And I'm not against it, but it just truly is. If you take something just from this season, like Shadow's House, it is so complex and just so hard to just try to get a grasp of what the plot is. It's fun in a way, but in another way, it's sort of, it's just the way anime is right now. Well, Megala Box is a very simple plot. You know, you got your boxer who got beaten bad, you know, because he lost his feel for boxing. He lost his passion for boxing. And then he comes back better than ever, you know, after a long wait. It's so typical anime. It's so typical from the ground up hero. I mean, even Megala Box 1 was the same thing, you know, but it just works so well. The show is especially with the art style, especially with the music that is just honestly so grounding and just fucking just amazing, is it? I mean, it's fucking Spanish and an ending, are you serious? It just fits so well. 
to just the overall product of Mangalwa Box. It got me thinking, right? Mangalwa Box, if you say that you put this anime right now in the 1990s, you know, or the late 1980s, you know, and you put that anime right there, there will not be any traction. It'll just be a normal anime. And you just be like, okay, Mangala Box. Maybe we'll get like a cult following, you know, that everyone just loves Mangala Box for some reason. And truly, it's not thing amazing. But the fact that it's being done right now in 2021, where everything in anime has a very, very different look, it just feels refreshing and it feels special. And look, it's very hard to be special in this day and age, but Mangala Box. It's just a special throwback, is it?